Oh. Yes. Um, the original reenactors market. Torm. T O R M. I'm I'm gonna be there um next week. Sorry about this dull November day. It's actually gone cold actually after being um very, very mild for the last couple of days. So I don't um <laughs> I don't dress up in medieval clothes. This is from, believe it or not, this uh, this hood goes all the way back to the 1980s when I did do a little bit of um, living history. I was a longbowman, you know that, back in the 80s. Yes, living history, longbowman. So I've got a wooden longbow from Boston Bows, which is going to be at the uh, the Torm, the, the, the original reenactors market. And it's where you can get things that are in a in period for you know for so for people who want to do sort of living history reenactment um um hema hema yeah um historic european martial arts um and LARPing, apparently. Live action replay. I don't know what that is. I've never really sort of... Understood. I think it's more like sort of like running through and pretending you're, you're, uh, you're something. And actually, I don't know if they roll dice or something. I don't know how it... They, don't ask me, but they, they go there. And, and I think even Sting Pump people go and get some stuff there as well. But if you're into archery, there's quite a few stalls. I'm not going to be doing anything with archery. There, by the way i'd be doing glass but that's that's something else um but um there's quite a few there's there's several archery things where you can go and buy a longbow you can go and buy a longbow ian who built this will be there and there are other people there who who sell longbows arrows and there are leather workers who sell quivers and you can get things made you know I think, and it's all at very very good prices as well not too not too expensive and um, so that's the um, second weekend in in November, which is not this weekend coming. Um, when I get this up, which will be tomorrow, uh, it'll be the a week on Friday. So it, it's going to be about the fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth on the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in November, and it's based here. Yes, you, I think I'll put a link to their um their their website down down below. But um, don't know, you know, either see you there or see you B square. Just also just a quick one before we go. I have I've got this longbow and I was going to do a review on it and everything like that. And I'm thinking, well, who am I to review a you know a, a traditional English longbow? Like you know, it's yeah. It's beautiful. Okay, I've reviewed it. It's beautiful. It's great. It's wonderful to shoot. The only problem I have is arrows. Now I've got some. I've got wooden. I've I've, I've just shot. Just shot a, um, a, a, a load of arrows. Right, okay, and this is what happens. This is I should, you know, bang. Hit the ball and it's uh, broken. So the thing about shooting wooden arrows is, a wooden arrows are a, a bugger to make. Well, not a bugger; they just take a lot of work to make a wooden arrow. And I'm not the best Fletcher or the best arrow arrow smith. Um, but I have now got some carbon fiber arrow shafts and made up some arrows with the carbon fiber arrow shafts um, that are heavy enough to go through this bow. This bow, um, about between, I think, 750 and 800 grain is, is, is spot on for this bow. And Ian, who made the bow, said it pulls to 28 inches, don't pull any further, which is, I'm not going to pull it any further. Um, it, I, you know, getting it to 28 inches is difficult enough for me because I'm a bit of a lazy draw as I get older. 
I think that's something that happens when you get older. But anyway, um, I will see you at Torm if you want to come along and see it. But uh, you know, um, I'm taking this bow with me. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take some archery kit with me because if I get chance to get out and do some shooting when I'm up there, you know, why not? Eh? Why not? And uh, I'm just trying to work out. Uh, ah, that's it. <laughs> yes, I've got a a mark on here where where the There you go, that's the mark. And I can put my arrow on there. And this one's not the right arrow. Oh, yes. Yes, I, I put these together and I've got 300 grain tips on the end to bring them up to about 780 grain, these ones, which is perfect for this bow, which is 74 pounds at 28 inches. Um, these are 32 inch arrows now. So I've got... I've got a big long overhang, but it's the right way to shoot this thing. Well, I'll see you at Torm and we can have a chat, have a cup, cup of tea, and you can see some of what I actually do get up to in my real life. And I've still got to be, pra I'm, I need to practice with this a little bit. My targeting with this has not been great today. So, embarrassing. Yeah. See you at home.